Hi everyone, welcome back to our weekly budget by paycheck. We're gonna be budgeting out our very first paycheck for November 2020, so we're budgeting out November 6th. We're gonna be using a zero-based budgeting method or an every dollar method on my Excel sheet. You can always purchase this on Etsy. I'm also gonna be adding some more of my budget templates onto my Etsy shop before the end of the year. So if you're interested, go ahead and check some of those out. So we're gonna kind of go through this quick. I am actually waiting for a phone call back from Toyota. We're talking about refinancing my car. So if you wanna learn more about that, you'll have to join us next month when I go over our debt payoff plan and see if we did refinance it, why we did and, and all of that. So we're gonna just jump in and get to it quickly. All right, like I mentioned, we're on the first week of November. So we budget by paycheck. So that means we budget for the current paycheck and our funds for that week we get paid every friday are going to last us or cover any bills or anything until the next one is due we've actually been gradually trying to get ahead on a lot of our bills so you'll notice the bills that we have budgeted for for november are actually for december's bills and if you missed it i already did the whole month so you can kind of see what we projected out for the month your budget think of your budget as a working document things are allowed to change and update but this is just a good way for you it's a good way for you to plan ahead but it's also a good way for you to kind of track and see some of those trends in your spending uh, so the first thing we like to do on these weekly budget videos is we need to update our income based on what we actually received so we're going to jump on that real quick so ricky did have his base pay of the 880 that's for his 40 hours so I like to make this black because that tells us that money is the official number now. Everything in red was our projection. And then when we're dealing with our totals, I make these orange because that way we're kind of, we know that these are numbers that are being worked. He did not have any overtime with the sixth. And my income was actually a slightly low higher than I guessed. It was 355 and seven cents. Okay, make this black. And we're going to open that up to make orange. Now, I had anticipated the 10250 from my self-employment, and I already received that, so I already made that black. I got this a little um, few days before the 6th, so I kind of came on if, and updated that. Our cash back, I estimated 25 I kind of low-balled it just because the last two months I had estimated more than we got, so I was like, I'd rather estimate less and get more. Uh, but it was actually um, quite a bit higher, and I had a feeling it would be because we did some work in the backyard, so we did put more on the credit card to earn that cash back. Keep in mind, everything we put on that we charge onto our credit card, we pay it off, we pay the balance off in full every week, not even just at the, the month. We do it every week, and that way we know we're keeping up with it, and we're not going to owe the credit card interest but we get cash back so it was actually uh, 36 dollars and 26 cents so again i'll make this black because that was the final number and i'll make the end one black because that's kind of closing us out for the month for that so that's basically our income for the week before taxes the 1373 and now the every dollar budget or zero based budget means we need to tell every dollar where to go so that ultimately at the bottom of our budget, there's a zero, just meaning that every dollar has a name. Now the first category we come to is paying ourselves first. So we have my husband's 401k and we have my Roth 401k. And we're doing 8% out of his income directly into his 401k and we have 4% of mine directly into mine. So the 7040 is what went to his 401k. I'm gonna make this blue because this was the final number, but I like to know that this number, this means this money was invested or it was saved and it wasn't spent and bye-bye out the door, right? Some of the other expenses, the money's just gone and we won't see it again. Make this orange because we're working this number. Now mine was slightly different. Uh, it was only 1382, so I had estimated a little more than I got. And mine, is actually after taxes whereas my husband is before taxes so i have a feeling this one will be kind of switched every once in a while it'll be off slightly maybe each each the other thing we do um is we update the future weeks based on some changes so we're going to get through this week really quick and then i do have some updates to do with some of the other weeks as well our next category is giving whether we're doing gifts or helping out with the community 
with actual, you know, care packages or whatever, or if we're donating. So Ricky has $5 coming out of his paycheck automatically, so that did come out. And so we're gonna go ahead and update our color coding. And then we come to our necessities. So our goal before, we were trying to budget in a percent base, and we were trying to have our necessities obviously as low as possible, so we have more money available to pay off debt and invest and save. But we kind of haven't stayed consistent. We've had a lot of things that come in and out of the budget, so we just decided not to worry about the percents at this time. We do include our taxes as part of our necessities amount. I mean, that's one of the reasons our overall necessities amount is probably a little higher because we are actually including those in there. And that's just because we like to know what are we paying in taxes. So for federal, this was actually zero. Now we are a family of four. We are under a, well, we used to be under a certain income level. So with our taxes, we would have the earned income credit and our child tax credit. This year, we will no longer have the earned income credit. We have a finally passed that income threshold. So normally we get um, a good chunk back in our tax return. We actually get a tax return. This last year, the last two years, I've updated our taxes so that we keep more of our paychecks now. We pay less into taxes to kind of offset that refund. So this next year, I'm thinking we're not going to really get a refund, and that's because we're keeping more of our paychecks now. Um, and that way we can start having the money work for us instead of the government. Um, Arizona State, we actually, it was um, a little higher. It was $22.58. Medicare was um, a little bit higher, um, so fairly a little higher, 1664. And then Social Security was um, a little lower, 7113. We pay $5.59 out of every paycheck for our family life insurance. That's basically life insurance in addition to the insurance that my husband's work already gives him, so it's just for an extra amount. And then the same thing with his long-term disability, it's a certain percent of his paycheck, so that one does fluctuate, but it was the $3.17. And we pay $87.80 out of every paycheck towards our health insurance. So this month we only have four paychecks, there's only four Fridays, but sometimes we have five paychecks, like last month. And in that case, we also have those added expenses for that week as well. That's kind of another reason I encourage you to do a different budget for every paycheck, because you might have that extra paycheck. All right, so this one, because we actually paid a little less in some taxes, um, and my income or our cash back was a little bit higher, I, for the mortgage, we actually put $496.25 into our savings. So again, we're putting the money aside for December's payment. We've already made November's payment, so now we're, we put that 496 in our savings account until it's due. So that ultimately ended up changing this amount here um, to 544.09. So I'm just going to change that as we went. So that way we have our total here of the 1040.34. Coming on down, our groceries, we're budgeting $200 a week. And we're trying to use this as our overall food budget. So if we end up eating out, we try to spend a little less at groceries. Um, it's It's been a experiment <laughs> we don't know if it's quite working yet but we're gonna we're trying our best again we are a family of four so this is orange because now we know that i have the 200 dollars in our bank account ready to be spent on groceries moving on down for the current week we were also doing our gas money on a weekly basis and we're doing 75 dollars a week for gas and this was just kind of based off of what we spent last month now i actually did end up changing my schedule. So instead of me driving to Amazon five days a week, I only drive there four days a week. So our gas might even go down just a little bit more, but we'll see. So again, this is orange because we have that money in the bank now so we can do our weekly fill-ups. The car insurance and the truck insurance, this is combined into one payment. And again, we put this in our savings account because this is not due until the 28th of November. So almost December. And we're gonna make that end or and then coming on down we have our $59.99 for the PlayStation and we decided to go from a monthly subscription to a yearly subscription so I'm gonna go ahead and just write this yearly and that way I know we're gonna be paying that um, 
yearly in December. And that was thanks to a viewer. She gave me the heads up that we could actually save um, some money. So by doing this, by paying like 60 bucks a year, we're actually saving ourselves $70 over the course of the year. So that's that's actually nice. And then our Netflix, we have $9.83. That is a monthly thing, and that's due on the 26th. So these are, these are we're going to make these blue, because I did put these in savings as well, because these, again, they're not due till the 1st and the 26th. So we just have that money sitting in savings, kind of earning us a little bit of interest while uh, we wait till it's due. Then what we end up doing is, let me come over here real quick. On my budget template, we also have different categories here. So this is the income checking account. This is where our direct deposit from our paychecks goes into. And then if we need to take out any cash, the money stays in the income, and that's where we'd use, we'd use the income checking account for the ATM. If we have bills that are due that current week, it, the money is moved into this necessities checking account where it is either automatically deducted out or we make the payment for the credit card and it comes out of that account. We have our emergency fund. Investments, these are actually four different investment accounts that are separate from our bank. We have our savings or our sinking funds, our girls savings account and our credit card so we can keep a running total of what we have balance on there. So as we scroll down, you can see we have $100 in our savings for gifts. We're gradually trying to save up for our Christmas account. You can see here under the emergency fund, we have a month of expenses along with our deductible for our homeowner's insurance as well as the deductible for our car insurance. So we're kind of gradually, we're, we feel comfortable with that current emergency fund because now we're going to start tackling some debt. And then you can see here in the savings, like I mentioned, we have some of those payments that will be due for next month sitting there until the week they're due, I will pull them out of savings and put them in necessities. You can see here we have some money in necessities like the groceries and the gas, the electric and water bill, those are coming out this week, things like that. And then you can see what we owe currently on the credit card. So we did have our Home Chef meal kit delivery thing get charged, so that's 96. So we basically have another 100 for groceries at the store. And we've spent 33 for gas so far, so you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on there. And then the girl savings right here. And then some of our vacation savings down here. So this is how we keep track of where it's at. Our bank also has it for the savings account now where you can actually earmark what everything is for. So sometimes I just put it on here so I know where it's at, but I can also categorize it at the bank if I want to. So last thing we're going to do before we're done with our budget is we need to make changes to future weeks based on either um, Ricky's overtime that changed or my hours that changed or things like that. So that's the big thing for the 13th. Ricky actually had two days he worked 12 hours instead of the eight that we had anticipated. So this paycheck is actually going to be 528 for the overtime. Mine, I'm going to leave the same. It might be slightly less by some change or something like that. We'll have to kind of see, but we're going to go ahead and leave that at, as is. Everything else, I think we're going to leave. I, I believe that should be fine. And then the other thing what we needed to do was add um, for maintenance. So Ricky did end up... I had mentioned this at the beginning of the month when we did our monthly budget that there would be a good chance we'd be adding into the budget for Ricky to get his brakes done on his truck. So we are getting the brakes done on his truck. Our friend actually already has it. He ordered all the parts. We're basically just paying him $200 to do it. So we're going to go ahead and take that for next week's paycheck. We'll take out the cash and pay our friend for doing Ricky's brakes. So whether that saved us money or not, um, I don't know, but at least we know his brakes are done and we helped our friend get a little side cash as well. The other thing, Ricky did get his registration notice. I think it's going to be $53 and some change. So I do want to change this to $54 just so we are prepared. And one other thing I did want to update was the water sewer trash. Our last bill was actually higher, um, was slightly higher than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to update that to, to $63. And then I need to add 84, and I'm going to change this 37 to 54. All right, so we're kind of updating these things just based on what we think might 
might happen. So now what we have to do is we have to scroll to the bottom and we're going to see our numbers aren't going to match up. So we got to figure out where are we going to fix that. So you can see for this for next week, because we're going to pay that $200 to our friend for doing the breaks, we're negative $4.88. So we're going to make that adjustment. And then this last paycheck, we're negative $6. So the first thing we're going to do is take out the vacation money. That's going to be the first thing where extra spending comes from. So we're going to come back to that. So then we need to scroll up here and we're going to be doing that was $4.88. We're going to put it with this one. So we're going to change this. This will end up being 103.30. Now, like I mentioned, we're we are waiting for a phone call back to find out if we can refinance our car. I'm going to go over more detail. We did have a viewer who mentioned about, um, you know, refinancing our vehicles might help with our debt payoff. And so I'm going to go over more detail in a different video about why and what and if we end up doing it or not. So this payment could potentially change because if we end up, um, ultimately I want to try to shave off a few years of the loan. So our payment most likely is going to go up. So we'll have to see what happens. If that's the case and the payment goes up, most likely this extra 200 we're paying towards the principal of the mortgage would be towards the car because that way it's all money that's still going towards debt of some kind. So we'll have to see if that changes or how that changes, how that affects the budget moving forward. Uh, and the other thing we're gonna end up having to switch because now this 488, you can see it's kind of moved it's like a ripple effect to the next week. So now that's going to be right here. So now we know that this one is 2828. So we have our 54. And then what we have left is 230 96 for vacation. We are trying to save up. We have two vacations planned for 2021. Um, one of them, I have a feeling, is going to be moved to later in the year. Um, but, you know, we're just kind of optimistic. We're just kind of going with the flow to see what happens and what doesn't happen. For all we know, both will be moved to the next year. But either way, we want the money and savings so we have the options to either move and reschedule. Or also, it's just extra money in the bank account that ultimately could be used towards emergencies if a real big emergency did did happen to come about. Now, when the pandemic hit, Ricky and I both lost our jobs for a little while. Um, so that was an emergency. And ultimately, I mean, we were able to make it through the emergency. We did end up having to spend maybe $1,000 out of savings until unemployment and food stamps and stuff kicked in for that duration where we lost all of our income. Um, but then once Ricky was back to work, everything pretty much went back to normal and then I finally went back to work part-time so I feel like comfortable that if something like that happens again um, we handled it very well the budget really saved us by having a plan um, and so I feel comfortable with what we have in the bank and and that we could handle something like that if it came about again really the only other big emergency would be like some type of a medical emergency where at that point that's some money that we do want to start working on. You know, we do have our homeowner's insurance deductible and our car insurance deductible put aside. The next step for us as far as our savings is for an emergency situation would be our health insurance deductible. So we'll be working towards that hopefully after the truck is paid off. Yeah, so that's the budget for our first week of November. You'll have to join me every week to see what we ended up spending in gas and groceries to see if there's any more changes to the budget and to see if we end up refinancing the car or not. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.